The worst thing could have happened. Y'all, it's a sad day. <clears throat> As you may or may not have cared to notice, I've been growing what I would describe as a luscious beard, what others would describe as patchy, what my wife would describe as is unattractive, but it's mine. It took years to be able to finally get it to, to fill into what it is now, and I love it. Shout out to Nick for giving me the power to believe in my beard. Trim and shave most of it. It was a renovation beard and the renovations are complete. And since we're getting ready for our trip, be right back. We were able to agree to more than what I thought. I was originally only supposed to keep this. Shout out to the wife for being a good person. Chicken. There Ooh, we go. that looks good. I hop right next to ASU and good old Tempe, and here are our travelers right here. Oh, yeah. yeah. On the left, we have Milani, <laughs> and on the right, we have Wayne. <laughs> Thank and you. Wayne's uh, doing a light breakfast today. Yep. We'll let him explain that later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's Grandma, she's got her uh, big old um, omelet. Mound of eggs. I guess it's uh, probably a half dozen eggs there, <laughs> along with pancakes. Here's my little uh, omelet bowl. And AJ already ate breakfast. We forgot to tell him we we're stopping at IHOP this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Poor AJ, he's Classic. out in left field. Doing good. Okay, so uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna enjoy this, so we'll tune out for now. Thank you. <laughs> This was going to be a long day of travel. So we went from Arizona to Seattle, Washington for our first layover. Well, our only layover before we get to Kauai. This is us at the Seattle airport with a now five hour layover. It was only supposed to be 30 minutes. So yeah, this travel day ended up being a lot longer than we were expecting and Wayne was not feeling great, so that added on top of our great travel day. <laughs> what up, y'all? Your boy feels like a million bucks. Had a little bit of food poisoning. That's what Grandpa was alluding to this morning. So last night about 3 a.m., got to see my late lunch. The worst thing could have happened. Just got rid of a little air bubble. Turns out it was more than an air bubble. I had to go buy some new shorts. No chonies, which translates to underwear. So we are, um, we're riding free. It's gonna be fun. But once we get a nice night sleep, we're gonna have a great time tomorrow. Nice hot shower. At least we're hoping. Yeah. Five hours later, we are on our way to Kauai. Once we landed, we had to cancel our rental car because they were close. So our lovely friends, Megan and Luke, came and picked us up from the airport and brought us to our place. So we landed in Lihue and we were actually staying in Poipu. So it's about a 30 minute drive to our place. It is currently 12.27 a.m but we have finally made it. Good morning. Looking great, it's the next morning, so you know, we're trying to get an earlier start, even though we're probably not like the most awake, but 
just wanted to show you our view so pretty just picked up our rental car we got the manager special so it's kind of like a surprise but um and then they kind of select something for you we got hooked up with a dodge challenger with the hemi in it yeah so you know we're gonna be rolling in style <laughs> to pack two essential things so Wayne needs to pick up a bathing suit and I need to pick up some flip-flops really sorry we were pretty terrible at filming our first day but we did go to a beach near the Sheraton Hotel it was one of the better beaches for swimming at least in our opinion of what we found so it was really nice, um, great weather that day, and we had a fun time doing some body surfing. Um, we also got something called puka dog, which is a sandwich bread that's toasted on the inside with a hot dog inside with a bunch of sauces. It is 10 out of 10. Day two. Day two. Off to go get some coffee. This morning we did head over to Lappert's. They have coffee and ice cream. Highly recommend for both, but that is what we had for this morning. Good morning. Welcome to my crib, temporarily. Walk in, you hit the entrance. That's all I got for you. Coming over here, we got the fish, you know what I'm saying? Cause we had the beach. Skirt. We're gonna go right here. You know, we got a washer and dryer. Dual branded because we couldn't choose which one we wanted, so keeping it fresh. Here, we got the half bath, so uh, we need to fight over the toilet. We don't really need to. We got that saw. Yeah, the master. So we just made the bed. It normally looks a lot worse than that. But it's all made up and fresh for y'all. Now this way, we got the bathroom, and we got another full bath in here. Now we're back in the entry, and behind me is the living room with the great floral print couches. And then over here is the nice kitchen where we haven't cooked anything in yet. And then this is where we eat all the food that we haven't made yet. This is our view. So we can watch all the people who are running on their vacation and make us feel bad that we're not running. All righty, you guys. Milani and I are getting ready to go meet up with uh, the Turvies. <clears throat> And uh, we're gonna have a little bit of a pool day. They say it's a pretty awesome pool, well worth our time. So we're gonna go meet up with them. So where we went were the Hyatt Pools. Um, it's $100 per person and the Turvies were so nice and gifted it to us. So we all went and hung out. They have pools, lagoon, and slides in a lazy river. Very fun. It is 6.30 in the morning and we are headed to a port so we can hop on a catamaran and do some snorkeling. So we're pretty excited. We did our sailing through Captain Andy's, the company we highly recommend. We had a great time. It was six hours long. We saw dolphins. We saw most of the west coast of Kauai and lots of stories and history which we loved.
stuff on. After a long day of snorkeling, we were definitely hungry. So for dinner, we went to Eating House with our friends, lovely friends, Megan and Luke. Um, but highly recommend the Hot Pot Butterfish. It was so delicious. We went a little bit later, but the view of the ocean is so pretty. So definitely if you wanted to go, go um, a little bit more towards sunset. Very first thing we needed to do this day was get coffee and food. What's up, y'all? So we are at Kauai Coffee. Um, as you might have seen at your local retailer. Um, we're getting ready to do a nice little coffee plantation tour so that I can learn the in and outs on how to grow. Said coffee. Said coffee. And then I'm hoping they talk a little bit about roasting. He wants and, to get into it, by the way. And then... Obviously, we're going to have some coffee. We're going to be done with this at, I think, 1030. And then we're going to do a Shaka Guide tour, North Shore. Yeah. So, should be a pretty fun day. Okay. We'll see how this goes. See you later. Welcome to my coffee farm. Well, it's not my coffee farm, it's Kauai Coffee's farm. Found out some interesting things along the way. Things that you might find interesting because I found interesting and you're watching this video. Uh, for one, all of their coffee beans, or coffee trees, planted by hand and then transferred out to their farm. You got over 3,100 acres, four million trees. It's the largest coffee farm in the US. However, they're not touching the big three, or the triad as they call it. Um, each tree produces about a pound of coffee a year. It's only harvested once a year. And what they do that's slightly different is that they harvest when the cherries are ripe. So the cherries are these guys. And they get yellow and red whenever they're ripe. Um, lasers, drones, all this stuff to determine whenever they're ready. And they come out, take these big ass tractors that goes through, shakes them off, and they harvest them. They dry them out, they roast them, and then they ultimately ship them off all here at this island on this farm. Yeah, they um, pretty sustainable company, I guess. All of like their waste from the trees and whatnot, they leave on the farm, and then they'll use that as compost later into the year. Let us know down below the triad, so the three largest producers of coffee annually. Let us know, know what, I guess, countries you think those are. Yeah, that was our, uh, that was our coffee tour. What do we got next? Coffee experience. Now we're going to be using this thing called the Shaka Guide. It's an app that you can download on your phone and it pretty much does you, gives you self-guided tours. So we're gonna go see the North Shore. For the rest of the day, we used the Shaka app, pretty much saw a bunch of beaches and just drove around and saw the scenery. Lenny and I just driving along, trying to get to our first stop on our little tour. And so there's a little like a, I don't know, what I'll call flea market. And this one's been wanting to get some local fruit. So I said, let's do it. Let's just stop in. She said it's like a pear though. We got our snorkel and goggles, so we're ready to go. All right, y'all, we're doing this tour. We just pulled off to our first spot. Um, I forgot the Hawaiian name for it, but it's Kong Mountain. Um, so if you look ahead, kind of looks like, sort of, Kong's uh, like face. And the other spot that kind of looks like it is off to the right now. Right so there, it's supposed to be King Kong off looking to the left. Uh, they filmed King Kong there. 
and Indiana Jones. And Indiana Jones. Did Maloa A, is what we think is called, uh, beach. It is the where Gilligan's Island was filmed. The first season. Uh, pretty little beach. Yeah, and nice and little, secluded. yeah, little tributary that got fed off of it. I wouldn't say it's like the most swimmable beach. It's pretty rough and there's no lifeguard, so enter at your own risk. Yeah. Then we went to a lighthouse, super pretty. You can get into the lighthouse, you just have to reserve a tour. And then we did go to this really cute pizzeria for lunch um, that had a bunch of books on the outside of it. Super cute place. What up y'all? We made it to our next spot. It's a place called Ainini Beach. Um, apparently one of the best snorkeling spots and where we're choosing to, uh, to kind of dive in. So gonna be here, catch some sun, hopefully catch some, uh, some cool views. Last stop was the town of Hanale where we got some food. After we ate, we went ahead and headed back to our place because it is about an hour and a half drive. Sadly, the next day, we were heading to the airport. We dropped our friends off. We had a little extra time, so we just shopped for souvenirs and then got ready for our flight. Overall, we had an amazing time in Kauai. Wayne ended up feeling much, much better. We saw lots of roosters and chickens, and we just really enjoyed it. We will definitely be coming back.